As East Texans pay homage to those who lead the way during this Black History Month, there is still much history to discover, and that includes recognizing the first African-American cowboy to compete in the national finals rodeo. He's known now as the Jackie Robinson of rodeos. The man you see is the son of Merges Dightman, the first cowboy and bull rider to compete in the national finals rodeo back in 1964, a time when segregation and discrimination were prominent. But Merges didn't let that stop him. A lot of stuff going on in America. When my dad was riding bulls in an all-white rodeo sport. So uh, he started out as a bull fighter and and and. In a professional level, he was doing, you know, he was protecting the cowboys from getting hurt. And that way, that way, and one day someone talked to him, said, Mercy, we believe you can ride, you can try. And he did. And then from that point, he was like the um, Michael Jordan in basketball. Uh, and rodeo. That's what Once people witnessed his greatness, it later opened the doors for other cowboys and cowgirls of all races to compete in rodeos state and nationwide. His legacy still continues in his hometown where it all started, where he inspires the riders of today. Now, uh, the kids from nine years old to 13, uh, I'm sorry, nine to 18 are competing to become a world champion and they winning money. And, you know, so that's a, a good thing. Reporting in Tyler, I'm Ashley French for CBS 19.